Greetings and welcome to Roller. Today we're going to loosen up the hips. We're going to do some work on the front of our legs, which in fact has more to do with opening our hips than it has, has to do with opening the front of our legs. And we're going to get some work for the inside of our legs too. But I want you to sit on the roller with your head over your tailbone and your belly button to the spine to start just warming everything up. Because this is a different kind of work. This is the kind of work that really pushes into your muscles instead of you expanding them and contracting them to flexion and extension. This is pushing at them. So it's kind of a reverse of what we do. I also want you to take it up above your tailbone and do a couple strokes, not too many, eight of them on your lumbar too. Because I think we just need to get everything a little bit warmed up. And then rock to one side, do eight over there. Yeah. Six, seven, and eight, back to the center and then over to the other side. And then let's get ourselves ready to do the front of the legs. Good, two more. All right, let's take ourselves off the roller, set up our mat. Our mat is in front of us. Our roller is in front of us, right? But you have to have enough space for you to be able to roll back and forth. I want you to walk across your roller to your mat. We'll play mine up a little bit. Your legs are long on the roller. And I would like you to position it right near your groin for now. Just right near your groin. I want you to just rock side to side, wiggle a little bit on there, and then just feel that opening up. Take it down. Do it just a little bit more. Okay. Oh, rock that side. All right. Elbows and shoulders are in alignment. Eyes are down. You're going to roll down your leg on an inhale, roll up on an exhale. You're going to try to get full range of motion. Probably going to pull myself out of the camera and take it back a little bit. Full range of motion from the lower thigh to the groin. Right? All right. Full range of motion. Don't pop your body up. Don't turn your legs out or in. They're pointed and they're very aligned. They're very parallel. So we don't want to change them because it takes the emphasis of what we're trying to do with our um, myofascial release. Now, the other thing I want you to be mindful of is I want your neck to be soft. I want your hands to be soft and your shoulders to be loose. Don't grip those fingers. A lot of people put their fingers together and grip them. You just try to find a very comfortable, aligned but soft upper body that's not, you know, overemphasized. Now, we're going to pump it, one leg up and then the other leg. Good, pointed, but not hard point. Good, set three, four, we're actually going for ten. Five, nice, six, seven, make sure it's full range of motion. Make sure you're breathing, eight, and you're looking down, but not under, nine, you don't feel any weight on your neck and 10. Now just one leg. One, two, three, four, just straight up five to the 90 degree. We're gonna take it in different directions later. Six, seven, good. Eight, make sure you do four inch of motion. Nine, oops, I just lost that one. And 10. Now hold it up there and roll up and down for 10 without moving your legs. Two. Somebody's mic is on. Three. Mute your mics. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Up there. Nine. And 10. Now drop that leg behind the other one. And you get a little bit of that inner thigh. I was telling you about that. But what you also do is you get a nice expanded hip. So the hip is opening. Three, four, good, five. I'm trying to do longer set today. Sometimes we just do eight, six. But I want us to feel a lot of opening. Seven, eight, Nine, there, and 10. Nice, bring it back, extend it only for one, two, beautiful job, three, 
and four. Now we're going to do 10. This time we're going to take the glute, the feet all the way to the glute, right? So it's going to be a long stretch. One, two, three, four. Good job. Five, really stretch the front of the leg. Six, seven. Good job. Eight, open your knee to nine. So if it hurts that, do something about it. Ten, and up and down. One, really squeeze it toward the butt. Two, if this is hard on your knees, stay at 90 degrees. Three, really get into that groin. Two, four, five. It's going to get all those connectors. Six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine, and ten. Drop it over. Now it's above the knee. One, two, three. Good. Four, getting that third five, that groin five. It's good. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it down, and we got four rolls. One, <clears throat> two, three, nice, and four. Now, 90 degrees on the other leg. One, pointed, but not hard point. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, nice, eight, nine, and ten. Just hold it there for ten more. Two, three, four, nice, five, six, Giving me so much comfort from Pilates. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Drop it behind the below the knee, behind the other leg. Three. Good. Four. Let's jump. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. And and extend it. Let's do four. One, two, three, and four. Now to the glute. One, push it. Two, three. Make sure it's coming straight to it and straight out. Four, don't let it weed out to the outside. Five, the curl. Six, or any curls in the ankle. Seven, eight, it's nine. And hold it here on 10, up and down for 10. Two, three, really squeeze it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Drop it over, it's above the knee. One, two, come on, three, Four, good. Five, six, perfect job. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's bring it down for four. One, two, three, and four. Bring it to 90 degrees with both legs. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I'd like you to take one knee to the side of the roller, keep the other one up, and we have a short on that inner thigh. Two, three. So that stretch across the groin, four, five, not too much rolling on that extended leg, six, seven, stay on that inner thigh, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it up and over to the other side. One, two, don't dig too much with your elbows. You're not going to fall off. Three, you got a whole big part of your body on here. Four, good job. What's wrong? 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring them back to center, squeeze them to the glutes, and give me a long roll. One, scooting out again. Two, three, tight, tight, tight. Four, five, squeeze. Six, keep the legs parallel. Seven, eight, good. Nine, you're gonna feel some harder stuff. And now bottom of the feet together, halfway down, and give it a full range of motion. One, two, three, four. So you have wide knees and your feet are together at the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, open to those wide legs. Ooh, let's stretch out for a second. Put your arms into a nice big V and put your chest on your mat. Then bring them to the cactus. Good, just facing down. And now push up and we're gonna do the rest. One, wide legs. So on the wide legs, that turns the legs in inward. Three, you're not purposely turning the legs out. Four. But you do have a more um, rotated leg. Five, six, seven, good job. Eight, nine, and 10. Now, if you're feeling it a lot in your shoulders, which you shouldn't be, one of the options is to cross the arms in front. Just make sure you cross them the other way, okay? All right, up to 40 or up to 91. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Drop them over one side. Okay, let's get it. Get our thigh. More range of motion here. Breathe into it. Five more. Then bring it back to center and then over to the other side. So, you know, that other leg doesn't turn out, but get the inside one to do. Good. Five more. All right, I want those legs long again. We're going to do 10 long ones, but this time we are going to turn our legs up. So, I want you to rotate your feet out into your plie position and bring it up and down. You're going to feel it's a little bit harder work. Good. Three more. Now bring those legs together, sit bone width apart, and make a tree on one side, up and down. Take your time. So your foot. Bottom of your foot is against your inner thigh. Try it to bank it above your knee or below it, but not on there. Four more. Good. Trying to get everything we can here. And straighten that leg and tree on the other side. The other foot is facing down. We're not rotating that long leg. Good. Good. Okay, bring those legs straight, put those knees down before we go to upper body. We're gonna do a couple of shout poses with the uh, roller. So you're going to take it all the way out and let your arm thing up. Put your glutes back. Let your chest. Go as close to your thighs as you can get. Really feel the extension. Take a big inhale. Exhale, come on up to your fingertips. Letting those shoulders reach downward, right? And then reach downward. And then big inhale, exhale. Take it out, sit back. 
You're not pushing with your hands as much as you're pushing back with your glutes. And then bring it up to those fingertips. All right, so one of the things we're going to, oh, upper body, I almost skipped and went right to Pilates. Upper body, let's go down. All right, we got to do that upper body, right? Wrap those arms around the head, make those feet go in front of the knees, make sure it's nice and tight. Let's go. Oh, I need this. Up and down. Ooh. Probably feel a little bit of shoulders from holding yourself up. A lot of holding of ourselves up today. Yeah. Make sure you're breathing as you go through these vertebrae. You want to articulate, hit each of them like you're doing a scale on the piano. Really add a lot of breath. Now, I'd like you to stop below the shoulder blades, take a small tilt, small tilt to one side. All right, go ahead. You won't have the same range of motion. You'll feel it on one shoulder blade, but not the other. So while you're getting the top of one part of the vertebrae, you're getting the bottom of the other five more. So this gives us a more shoulder blade or scapula, you know, myofascia release. All right, come back to the center before. Oh, there it goes. I just got a nice click, got another reset. And then take that, lean over to the other side. Let's do 10 of those. Make sure you do that really useful breathing. Make sure you're supporting your head from the bottom of it. Don't push it so that your neck is overextended. Right. And then come back to the center we did four. Good. Don't lift your head up or let it drop. It's in neutral. Good. Now let's take the neck. So starting at the bottom of the vertebra, we go up slowly, we put our heads back, and we let the roller fall between our head and our shoulders, right in that cervical curve. Now take a big breath and come right to the back of your deltoid, right to your shoulder, right here. Just sit on top of that. Really don't spend a lot of time on the top. Now roll a little bit to one side. Just lean over and push on the rear deltoid on one side. Come back to center and roll over and push on the rear deltoid on the other side. And then come back to center and bring it back down again. We're going to do that one more time. Curl it up. Drop the head, let it hit in that push against the skull and the shoulders. Now I want you to shrug your shoulders into this and then release them down. Shrug into the roller and release it down. Shrug into the roller and release it down. So down's where they need to be, right? Down to the um, deltoid. And then turn yourself to one side. And just a little turn. The shoulder come on. Nice. And then come back to the center. And then turn yourself to the other side. Stay on that delta. Turn it. And come back to center and up and down for four. Make sure you can see it. like where you need to see is not being in the in the screen. Good. All right, right here. I'll put you below your shoulder blades again. Just sit there, keeping that um, uh, back open. I want you to take one arm off and wrap it around your chest. Now roll on to where you open. So on to the wrapped side. So I'm a little bit deeper today. And then bring it back and then wrap and over the wrapped side. So I'm 
getting you to open just a little bit more and then act actually putting some myofascial pressure on it. And then back here and then we'll let it go. So swim it in and out. Go to lean and then lean and swim and swim and give it a lot of love. And then we're going to come to the center, put our glutes down, our hands in front of our ears, and then come on over and do it. Nice. Perfect. Oh, bring yourselves up. All right. We are going to do uh, a lot of stuff today, uh, including the alignment, but I'm going to save that till last. I want you to, um, that's my teenage accent there. I want you to, um, let's move our mats to where we can place our hands. All right, legs on our rollers. Put your hands out to the side, okay? I think that'll be more support. Point your toes, look ahead, lift up. It's the reverse point. So we're just going to hold this for 20 seconds. Make sure you breathe. Good. We had those shoulders curled, and now we're, you know, breathing them to neutral. Inhale and exhale lower. Reach forward. Make sure we create some resistance. So if you can grab and pull yourself down a little bit, that'll help. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with one leg lifted. Take a few breaths before we go up. Of course, I'm looking at the clock to get the timing right. Big inhale and exhale, lift one leg up and hold. Try to get up a little bit higher. It's hard. Get it all lifted with just one side, but you are centering. Good. 10 more seconds. And then big inhale and exhale, lower. And then, of course, we'll reach forward and then we speak stretch. Then we're going to do the other leg. Take three breaths. And then big inhale and exhale, lift up with that other leg lifted. Put yourself up as much as you can. Good. Don't let that other leg roll out. Ten more seconds. Big inhale and exhale lower. And now to counteract that, we're going to do cobra on the rollers. All right. So we're coming around. And let me see what's going to be the best visual for you. Like this. I'm going to hold my mat. Okay. So come on down. Reach out with your, put your uh, forearms on it. Open your legs to hip width apart. Head is down. Belly buttons the spine. So that you throw your hip bones into the mat. Deep breath and release. One more and release. Then inhale and start to bring yourself up. Oops, mine's too far away. And hold yourself into the cobra. Drop your shoulder blades. Good. Big inhale and exhale lower. So we're not going to uh, start with a long hold, but we'll get there. All right. Three more breaths. In case you didn't hear that, three more breaths. All right, let's start it again. Big inhale and exhale, bring it up, and 10 seconds. Good. Breathe it. Inhale and exhale, and lower. Take a nice deep breath. And last one. Let's try for 15 seconds. Ready? 
Let's try for 15 seconds. Big inhale and exhale. Bring it up. Stay far away again. Bring it up and hold. Got mine all messed up here. Hold. There we go. Go in 10 more seconds. And big inhale and exhale. And really nice job. All right. So now I want to take you on to that alignment. If I think of all the things we did front and back, it would be useful now. Give it some peace and some flexibility. So put your mat beside your roller. A lot less effort, but a lot more concentration. So we're not moving, we're kind of doing things from a uh, still position. So lift your head over your tailbone, belly button to the spine, lower down vertebra, back vertebra. All right, separate the lower part of your body from the upper part of your body, wiggling your shoulder blades and lifting your glutes. Now, bring your arms around to that myofascia, or that myofascia, to that alignment position. And breathe, nod your chin. Now, okay, a couple of things. You could do deep breathing up and down the spinal canal to do great adjustment to your vertebrae and to focus. You can do soft breathing to keep your body at rest and soften things that might be clenched, like your jaw or your tension in your shoulder or just some concern in your heart or your head. If you can soften those in this kind of moment. If you can just uh, breathe in a way that aligns yourself after all the efforts you've been making for the last hour and a half. Um, that will also help. But I really want you to keep in mind is that we're trying to keep our body open. So our heart open. So bring those hands as close to the roller as possible to keep that heart open. Make sure you have your belly buttons of spine, but still your uh, lumbar is in its flexible position. Nod your cheek. Okay, I'm going to give you 90 more seconds. I've been talking. And you could do eyes open to train your body for balance, or you could do eyes closed to bring yourself into concentration. And I'm not going to talk. Thirty seconds. Now, surprisingly, I'm going to ask you to roll off of your roller because the rest of the Pilates we're going to do, we're going to do put the roller under our lumbar. So, we're going to do some corkscrews, I'm going to do some jackknives, and we're going to do all kinds of things for the reverse, for max. So, get your um, roller between your lumbar and your tailbone, and you feel that. Extension in your upper body, put your hands at the side. You can hold on to the roller for these exercises because they do use a lot of propulsion. So I'd like you to take one leg up and the other leg up. And what we're going to do first is just turn them side to side and get the whole system, the mechanism loosened up. And then we're going to use just our bodies to make them 
create a circle I, instead of uh, propulsion. I'm just going to circle in one direction. Five, six, seven, and eight, and reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then from the center, you're going to lower down and lift straight up. Now, one of the things that's hard to do and that we're going to work on is coming down vertebrae by vertebrae, right? So lower down and take it up and come on down slowly. We're going to do 10 of these. So on every one, try to slow that roll. Go. Two. And lift and come down slowly. Nice. Over. Come down slowly. Now, now, at this point, you're not trying to take your leg behind your head. This is a straight up lift. So it'll probably come up over your foot. Down slowly. Five more. Five. Well, I bounced on that one. Try not to bounce. Four. Slowly. And now it takes practice. Three. And I haven't practiced enough. Good. Two. And one. Good job. Now we're going to cross the legs. We're going to take it up in midair, switch the legs, and come on down, right? So lower, switch, and bring it down. And lift, switch, and bring it down. Lift, switch, and bring it down. Lift, switch, good job. Right. Lift, switch, and bring it down. Lift, switch, and bring it down. Three more. Three and two. And those legs side by side. They go over to one side and lift down to the center and the other side and lift. 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 Now, if you just want to do it without the lifts, that is also very strong work. It's not bad work. And bring it back to center. Nice. Bring our knees down toward our chest, left feet to the center, and then push those feet right up and back to 90. Point them. As you bring them down, flex them, push up behind you, and then point them back up. Down, push, and up. Good. Now bring it back. Flex, point up. Bring it flex back. Point and up last time. Good. Flex and up. Open those legs wide and bring them around. Close them and bring them up. And then down. And then and then just slightly bring them around and back to center. It's kind of like a roll back, but we're not doing it. All right. Bring them together around, lift up and open, and then open and bring them around. Lower closed and bring them open. Lower open and bring them closed. Lower closed and bring them Open and bring them close. Left that lower close and bring them open. Lower open and bring them close. Flex your feet again. Push them hard and then relax and rotate those ankles. Okay, we're going into the stretch. We know we're running late. We're going to start with our routine. So, pointed legs. Turned out point, legs turn out. Lower them to your chest, take them out into a V point, nice soft point, bring them back to pointed straight up. Turn out, flex the turn out. Keep the heels together, lower the knees, take them to a V and make sure it stays over your roller, then bring them back to 
point. Point, turn out, flex, lower, extend, and back up. Point, turn out, flex, lower, extend, and the back up. Point, turn out, flex, lower, extend. Let's go reverse. V, flex in, which through the flex turn out, point back to point of parallel. V, flex bring it in, push it through the center to the point and point it parallel. Two more, bring it in, push it through, point it and point it parallel. It's also a memory tip. How it holds your memory. <laughs> Mine's never any good. And drop one down and the other one away. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower and hold it tight. Now you can be massaging your groin in order to get this. Does come down one. Yeah, see as you massage the groin, it really does. So that's that's just a nice magic of the body. Just bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Breathe into it. We're going to stay here for longer than usual. I really want you to feel something happen. I want something to move. I didn't know maybe it will. We're going to try. If you're both way disappointed, they really extended, they're really all in on it. So pretty outside. We're almost there. Your hand inside your thigh. Take it out. Don't let the glutes come off the mat. Roll. Now, I want you to put your hand under your thigh, bring your knee to your shoulder. You're still pointing that foot. Bring it into it. Your hand on the roller, put that knee bent, bring it over across to the other side. Your hip goes to the ceiling. Put that knee bent, and that floor extension. Both uh, shoulders are on the floor. Now extend the leg, reach it, go but stretch all the way from the straight to the superior. And then bring it up nice and long. But work and bring the other one up. All right, let's do the other side. Big inhale and exhale low. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. We're going to stay here. Really go deep. Focus hard. Don't like let yourself drift off into la la. Focus on what you're doing, right? Almost there. Take it out to the side. Make sure you keep both glutes on the roller. Your hands under your thigh and bring that knee. And on the roller, and then extend. Up down the gravity, move it down. You get that full twist there. And bring it. All right. We'll finish off with some active flexibility and stretching. That's really what we need today. So we're going to do one, two, three, hold. So that one, two, three, hold. 
One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, halfway there. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, and hold. And bring it back together and drop it out to the side. I know I'm out of the just let them hold in there. Keep them pointed. Keep them engaged. Now release them a little bit. Soften your foot. Soften your foot. Release them. And now swing them side to side. Around, around like helicopter. Yeah, that's it. Mm, nice. Again, a little extra of this thing. Of everything, set of eggs, three seconds, set of 20, and last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let them stop on their own and then soften them. Hold them softly. We're going to hold them for a little while. Please remove the legs right away, but we're just going to let the weight of the legs hang in here. Let that weight hang in there. You feel it. Don't get any deeper in your thighs, right? A little bit longer. Now bring it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One leg to tabletop, the other leg to tabletop. One to the floor, the other to the floor, lift up. Good, do you feel lifted? And then bring yourself down from the top of your back, gradually through the vertebrae, bring it down to the lumbar, head down to the hips, lift up those feet, reach the spine butterfly, release the arms down, tuck the palms to the ceiling, drop your shoulder blades, nod your chin down, soften your eyes. Softening your eyes can be closing them or it can be just. Not looking hard, whatever you know, whatever you want to do. And breathe into it. Back knee toward the front knee and just hold it there. Maybe scoop them up a little bit. Give the arm around and just hold yourself there. And then bring yourself up slowly to your seated position. And drop your shoulder. Your arm. Let's roll our shoulders back towards the chest. And then forward. And then just a little side to side on our upper body. We're just all trapped in that long roller extension for such a long time today. Eight and seven. Get rid of each elbow. Six. Last five. And four. And three, and two, and one. Bring those up to the center. Release them down. Breathe it up and down. Up and down. Two more up and down. Left time up and bring it down. Thank you for coming to Roller today. We loosened up those hips. We did some different kind of stretches on our deltoids and in our in our groins. So um, I think that we do stuff today, so I hope you enjoy.